guys, uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Trip Russo, aka Photo Trips, and I got a POV in store for you guys today. We're going to be walking around Grand Central Terminal, 42nd Street, the Chrysler Building, and uh, shooting some pretty cool stuff around there. So enjoy the video, and I'll see you on the other side. Just made it out of the parking garage, and in here, we got this pretty cool, pretty cool little Vespa. Let's see what we got here, ISO, alright, ISO 800, 125th. brick wall behind it. Got some nice leading lines. So today we're going to the Grand Central Terminal. We're going to hang out around there. Maybe see the Chrysler building. Um, I haven't been in this area in a while. So I thought it'd be cool to come back here and take some shots. That's a nice little neat angle right there. So yeah, all the pictures I'm taking right now will be just going straight up to uh, on the screen. You'll see them somewhere up there. Uh, let's make my way around, I guess. I need to hop over this at some point. Maybe now will be a good time. Oh. oh, that's a. This is a nice little scenery we got going on down there. So yeah, that cafe right there is kind of a cool retro shop. We got some people uh, hitting the crosswalk. That's Grand Central Terminal right there. I think it's a pretty cool shot. Maybe we can get something in between these pillars. That's a little forced. Oh, I got. Yeah, maybe that's not too bad. Is it in focus? We got it in focus, all right. We got the Brinks truck. That's a cool little shot here. Wait for 
the car to get out of the way. Let's see if we can oh, we got some cool reflections on that one of Vanderbilt Street. That's not bad. Keep pushing on. Holy shit, it's cold. and warm up a little bit. Well, these, these lights are pretty sweet. I'm gonna try to get a nice shot going down and up. So yeah, I mean, just getting good angles going down, finding different views always create like a different depth and different space here photography and find like these leading lines you can use this that's pretty sweet let's see how these are coming out that ain't bad I'll go down to Shutter speed of 100 now. We got ISO 800. camera in the nasty New York water but hopefully it was worth it oh yeah that is a sweet reflection shot we got the bridge the sign I'm gonna cross over Let's see what I'm, I'm really digging this neon light right here Central Cafe these are just nice reflections
Those are a little underexposed, but I'm just gonna bring them up and post. I don't really need to deal with losing some speed with my shutter. I think it's time to put on the 85. All right. Well, now I got the 85 on. Let's go back to the clock and now that I can get all the way down to f1.4 I mean drop that ISO down we'll do 400 at 100th I'll bring the ISO down even more let's go to 200 So we're at ISO 200 f1.4 on that, and that's just, this lens is just a beast. The separation of, in the depth of the field is just, On top of the lights over here, we have a little sign that says 23. I'm gonna focus up on that. And it's like the lights blurring out looks sweet. See if you got another. person walking a little overexposed there we go that's pretty sweet different
dope shot of the track entrance. Oh, I kind of need my other lens. These trash cans are in the way. Actually, we can maybe get do maybe do that. So we got one shot focused on the top and one shot focused into the tunnel. It'll be a cool little series. Yeah, there's just no one here empty. leading line coming through here which is the yellow we have a leading line which is the light up top I'm trying to intersect those I must want someone to walk right in oh Came out crispy. We got a nice shot there. A couple of those definitely came out good. Attention customers. A reminder. Proper wearing of a mask that covers the nose and mouth is required to travel on trains or are in our stations regardless of social distancing and vaccination status. If you forgot yours, please ask the station ambassador or train crew member to provide Oh. So I know this is a similar spot, it's the same spot that we were before, but I got the 85 on now. I do like this taxi. Little station thing here. <laughs> Thank you. this
So we were just at 70 right here. We got some wider angle shots too. 24. So right here we got a pretty cool shot. And if you could see, so like the light coming off the building to my right is pretty crazy going on the Chrysler building. So I'm gonna put my shutter speed to one fourth so I can catch this. I'm gonna keep my arms straight and tight. And hopefully we get And I think we can get a clean shot. Yeah, I mean that's pretty clean. For handheld one fourth of a second can't complain so I'm gonna make my way down and there's a cool spot where there's a bridge looking down this road so once we get there I will be back I'm gonna use this metal to rest my camera Focus up down there. Let's see how these are coming out. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. We could probably punch in a little bit. So, I'm about at 30 mil right now. See if we can get oh here we go got that uh, moped coming across that's how we started off the night with the little Vespa oh yeah that that hit that was a hit I think soon I'm gonna have to do a panning POV because I wanna get better at panning shots, one, but two. I mean, you can't go wrong with a banger pan out. So welcome back guys, and I hope you enjoyed the POV. Uh, just a little bit more about myself. Uh, I'm a graphic designer by trade. I went to school for graphic design and gra graduated a couple years ago. Um, I've always had a camera ever since I was pretty young. And uh, over the past couple years, especially with COVID, I've kind of dove deeper into the whole camera and photography game. And with the city so close, I wanted to take advantage of that opportunity. And not many people can say they can just go and take pictures and shoot street photography in New York City whenever they want. So I feel pretty lucky and fortunate to be in that position. So I wanted to try something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And so I'm starting this channel. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and you know many more to come. If you're looking to find me on Instagram, my name is Photo Trips, Photo Dot Trips, and uh, subscribe if you guys like the video, and hopefully you'll see me soon. Peace out.